Hello everyone, I'm Agent X007 and this is Compatibility Madness. In this video I will show you my Hexboot PC or as I call it the Madness PC or Madness project I've been working on. Oh my god, was this hard? But I made it work, it works. Ah, awesome, okay. So let's start with uh, simple platform and I will talk about the parts I'm using. This is Intel cooler, of course, as you can see. Uh, under it we get we have the CPU, Core i7-980X, LGA-1366 socket. Uh, right ne next to it are three three DRAM DIMMs. Those are four gigabyte. So in total we have 12 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. This is for triple channel, of course. Now this is the main part of the story. As you can see, every, not every, but no, <laughs> most of the expansion slots are used in this PC. Going from the top, this is the GeForce 7800 GTX. This is the referen reference cooler. 256 megabytes. Under it we have Auzentech Forte, XV Forte sound card, PCIe X1. Under that we get uh, NVMe drive, Samsung SM961, 256 uh, gigabytes, sorry. Uh, and this, this is Aurel Vortex, Aurel Vortex 2 sound card, PCI. It's needed for one of the OS's to work. And uh, the last one is GTX 780 Ti from my other videos. I'm using a 750 uh, watt CPU. No, no CPU, PSU. Damn it. And this is a fan, Delta fan. I have to use because this gets hot, let me tell you. And if and when this lot is cramped so much, they heat each other up and without the fan they will they may damage themselves even. So this is the important stuff. Now the a little bit less important. This is the WD focus. WD740. This is a Raptor hard drive, 74 gigabytes, 10,000 RPM. Really good stuff. Kind of loud, but this is a 10,000 RPM. So performance is the king. And uh, right next to it, we have Raptor X, 150 gigabyte drive with the cool Plexi. So you can see the hard drive work. On top of it, I needed to uh, get a flow of air because those guys aren't exactly freely available. So uh, I need to take care of it. So I simply put a LGA 1155 uh, box CPU cooler, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I didn't even bother with the dismantling of, of the metal part, the heatsink, since I only need the fan. OK, now this is the other drive, or at least I'm using it as hard drive. This is a compact flash one gigabyte card from Apatzer. Basically, this is my IDE drive, one gigabyte, whole one gigabyte of it. And it goes in the adapter right here. This is the IDE, IDE port. See, IDE to compact flash is uh, really a passive connection, so passive adapter. 
nothing fancy, but it gets the work done. Okay, now let's power it up, so you guys can see what I what it uh, it does basically. So. Oh, and I forgot. This is the floppy drive I'm using. Gotek uh, USB to floppy. Oh, sorry. The most important part of this build, I don't know. Uh, floppy drive? Yeah, what can I do with it? Well, basically, hex boot requires. Uh, few operating system to work and I locked myself to Microsoft ones and uh, the most important operating system of them all is the DOS so I have the DOS 6.22 on the compact flash ready to go other than that we, you can see the profile for Windows 2000 Windows XP and Windows 7 Windows 7 is of course on the NVMe drive, just so you know. Okay. Basic stuff, how I set things up. Uh, this is already um, the DOS profile. I reloaded for you so you guys can see. Profile 5, DOS. There you go. If you are interested in what settings I'm using, I will show you. Pause the video if you want. Oh, not this. And in the CPU configuration you will see I disabled most of the things. So no C1E support, so fixed uh, frequency. Those are uh, hardware prefetcher and prefetcher and adjustant cage line prefetch. Uh, Performance, you can disable them for the a bit lower performance you may need in the DOS. I did not uh, have to do this because I'm using a 4.3 GHz right now overclock, so I'm not <laughs> using software that's uh, speed sensitive. But this CPU can go as low as 1.2 GHz, and you also can disable prefetch and uh, cage line prefetch. So it goes a bit slower even even still. Now legacy ordering is required for any OS that's Windows 2000 or older. So legacy. I only activated one core from the six I can, as you can see. Only one is needed because DOS doesn't support more than one core. And the A20M is the most important part because without it uh, DOS may have problems with RAM and memory allocation and all that stuff so enable and the rest is disabled because it doesn't support anything else <laughs> yeah so this is the CPU configuration DRAM just a quick glance uh, storage system, this is important. I disabled the Intel uh, H10R in the motherboard because I don't, I'm not using it, and uh, less stuff available takes less resources, so it works out that way. I'm using the Gemicron integrated uh, hard drive controller for the one of one of my drives so that I don't I'm not limited to the what that one gigabyte of the compact flash so uh, no USB of course but I'm using a USB mouse it's not working in the DOS I'm using but there is a surprise for you why it's in enabled here and plug and play yes it doesn't uh, this motherboard doesn't need really this but uh, it can help sometimes uh, if your uh, hardware isn't exactly working right like it should and uh, yeah those are the APIC and uh, ACPI support pages drives uh, hard drives priority as you can see compact flashes on the top 
Next is the first WD drive and the USB generic storage because I'm using a pen drive. Don't worry, it will not work in the uh, in the DOS. At least not in DOS I'm using. Okay, so we have OC profile done. Everything is set correctly. So let's do booting. As you can see, this is a massive PCI devices uh, column. Uh, yeah, that's what you get when you uh, do these kind of things with six, uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, no, five, five uh, PCI E devices. Okay, now uh, I simply do the DOS bench. So that guys, you can see I am using a 6.22 version of the DOS. And uh, shout out to the Phil's Computer Lab. Awesome, awesome guy. Uh, it cre he created this uh, DOS benchmark pack. It's really fa It's really fast and. Uh, it does the job what I wanted to do. So yeah, D this is a simple DOS program. It test uh, it will test CPU speed and hard drive speed, and also it will show you what uh, what you're using. So as you can see, this is my PC, Pentium 3, of course, 4.3 gigahertz. Uh, this is interesting because. This guy does correctly uh, does correctly read the BIOS info, name and uh, date. Now first part is done. This is the cage mem. Now let's test the compact flash uh, card. Forty megabytes, but look at the access time. Now that's why we like flash memory. Okay, let's do zoom on the results. Those spikes you can see in this test are probably from the. Uh, cage system on the Nehalem CPUs. This is a free cage, free level cage, L1, L2, and L3. And I think uh, spikes are where when CPU goes from one cage to another cage to uh, check if the data is there. If it is, it will revert to uh, the first level cage if it needs it if it needs it okay now this is the 6.22 tests done focus okay now let's do something more interesting uh, quit to dos i'm using dos shell because this is this is a bit more a bit more easy to use than uh, basic DOS and let's do games and let's do blood Th I don't know if you will hear it but uh, as you can hear I hope there is sound options I will do the impossible the 1600 by 1200 because why not <laughs> as you can see it kind of works kind of doesn't there are glitches here and there but it's uh, it's all right I think
you can try to run this in the DOS, uh, DOS box <laughs> at these settings. Okay, now if I do the standard 10 by 16, okay, and butter smooth it is. Okay, let's do something else. So, one game, one program. Let's do the other OS. Now, as you ca could see, I am using a 74 gigabyte uh, Raptor drive. Now, let me show you what's on it. So let's pick it on my boot device list. Nothing else is changed, the settings are exactly the same as they were. Hello! Surprise! Windows 98. Of course now are you, you are most likely wondering how the hell does it work? And on the full HD resolution. So, how does it work? Well, 7800 GTX is the last graphics card that supports the Windows 98 operating system and so that uh, you guys know I'm not cheating on anything I will run Doom on it Doom 3 of course not Doom 1 or 2 <laughs> Ultra 1024 by 768 full screen no uh, AAX 4.0 stereo sound uh, yeah basic stuff <laughs> oh I forgot okay you guys can see it so let's run a time demo I'm using 1.3 uh, version because uh, I don't have a CD-ROM and I did not use CD-ROM for uh, Windows installation of any kind. I copied the files from my ISO directly to hard disk using uh, Windows XP and uh, yeah, it uh, works. You can run setup from the hard drive if you want on the Windows 98. Go figure, right? Okay, 177.8 FPS. Now, isn't that cool? And that's in this is on Windows 98, guys. Uh, if you want more, I can run with 3D Mark 03. But not all the tests, those are, those will take too long. Simply a mother nature test will suffice, I think. Now, just so you know, this is not the latest version. So this is a 3.4.0 because the 3.6 is not supported in the Windows 98 operating system. Well, it's... Uh, Works well. Did not crash yet. <laughs> At least. That's that. I will do a comparison because this is a hex boot machine and I tend to deliver. 
so uh, you can you will be able to compare this uh, this uh, benchmark to the next one regarding also Windows 98 the Aurel Vortex 2 sound card is working and is one of the best uh, sound cards you can get for the Windows 98 platform that's why I'm using it uh, it wasn't uh, hard to make it to work however uh, in, the, in the DOS you have to do this manually to tweak things and stuff okay that's test done and we have a score of 100 and 112 and 0.5 There we go Now the funny thing is you can't I can't use CPU Z in this uh, Windows 98 installation because it crashes I think uh, CPU Z programmers did not expect our Core i7 90 running a uh, Windows 98 but here you go uh, IDA64 Core i7 overclocked yeah no problems there this is a bone stock GTX 7800 GTX I did not overclock it or anything like that And so you know I am using a Windows 98 again. Those are properties of it. As you can see, it's three gigabyte. <laughs> now this is not uh, an error or anything like that. I'm using Arlo uh, patch for the Windows 98 operating system because without it uh, one gigabyte is top you can run and uh, I'm using 12 gigabytes so kind of more than you can run in uh, normal circumstances so yeah okay that's Windows 98 on to the next one now this time I will have to change setup. Uh, just so you know, I am now I'm now clicking uh, keyboard because this screen simply flashes and it's done. <laughs> it's too fast for uh, normal uh, operation, so I need to click before it uh, before it uh, shows. So let's do. Not this. We want profile three, Windows 2000. Yes, and the restart. Now this will uh, automatically load all the pre pre settings and overclocking and everything like that. I will show you just briefly what changed. In between this and Windows 98 and DOS, DOS uh, settings as you can see CPU speed is the same RAM speed is the same what changed is in CPU because now we have two operating cores available from this chip all other things are the same and because this is Windows 2000 I can use AHCI I am using AHCI driver on on the operating system just so you know and this platform is one of the last ones that supports that old operating system including Windows XP Now this is my hard drive, this is the Raptor X 
and uh, because this is newer operating system I also can use USB 2.0 yay all the speed I need the speed okay so profile is loaded now let's check the hard drive oh yeah this is bad this is the hard drive we want 150 WD 1500 save and exit now the boot order will change every time uh, you change hard drives uh, settings or uh, connecting new hard drive can also change that that's why you need to check every time okay let's boot now we go to Windows 2000 and you should hear this time the loading that's necessary yeah no yes there you go I hope you can hear it working hard yeah that's the stuff yes <laughs> I love I like the sound of the head working because this means everything works if the head stops that means it it's either finished or the computer crashed <laughs> basically okay now uh, let's run doom again i'm use i'm still using the 7800 gtx on this platform and is this uh, windows again ultra quality same same settings as before advanced and again let's run time demo If I remember correctly, there was 172 FPS, 177, yeah, that's about right. So DOOM is working exactly the same as in Windows 98, because one or two FPS difference is nothing when you have a 170 overall, or over even. Now, free the mark of free. And again, I will only select Mother Nature. Now, when uh, this goes, so I will tell you guys uh, the quirks and uh, something other than that I picked up when trying to make this work, as you can see. Um, the 7800 GTX is required for Windows 98 to work because with two GPUs and I'm using two GPUs on this motherboard GTX 780 Ti and 7800 GTX uh, Windows 98 will not boot if uh, driver NVIDIA driver uh, sees a 512 megabyte uh, sound, uh, graphics card because I do have and do own a 7900 GTX but uh, it will not work after driver installation with GTX 780 Ti uh, mounted on the sock in the socket so yeah that's unfortunate but what can I do there were guys that tell you 256 megabyte is top for the Windows 98 and that's why 
Okay, so we have 114 and 0.4 FPS. So again, similar, maybe a bit faster, bit, but in, in the same ballpark. That means uh, Windows 98 it is indeed using full capabilities of the 7800 GTX. Go figure, I'm using a freaking Core i7, so yeah. <laughs> you better, you better use the full capabilities of it. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's that. Um, oh, forgot to show you guys the hardware, not hardware, wizard device manager. This is the magic you need to do to make this work. So, this is this list of the devices that are in this CPU, in this PC. And I disabled not the devices themselves, but the bridges that uh, use them or are requ required for motherboard to use this device th those devices so the this is uh, seven and nine seven port is for the nvme and nine port is for gtx 780 ti this way i avoid 780 ti popping up in the display adapters as an unidentified one and uh, I don't need to use any drivers for it so it will not uh, even uh, detect and it will not use any resources uh, because using all the PCI ports does have its main problem in resource management using resource management uh, is really difficult on this in these uh, old operating systems and yeah I'm using a CPI 2.0 and I'm using that uh, table at CP to something table that second one is required for uh, sound card to work for example okay this is Windows 2000 let's do Windows XP now Windows 2000 last thing uh, will not work at least in my case with 6800 Ultra 6800 GT FX uh, 1300 Quadro FX 1300 uh, because the PCIe to AGP bridges and I think those uh, not exactly work with this motherboard on Windows 2000 because they will work in Windows 98 but they will not work with Windows 2000 so yeah again stuff you will work out when you build these things so let's load the Windows 7 Windows XP profile as you can see performance will be a bit lower but still 4.2 gigahertz almost is 4.2 gigahertz on a hex core so yeah because windows xp does indeed see and can use uh, six core cpus so we go from legacy ordering to modern ordering virtualization is on exhibit is on xdebit sorry <laughs> exhibit wrapper Come on. Uh, all cores are active, will be active. I disabled the A20M because it's not uh, required anymore. I'm not uh, utilizing the C1E or uh, Speedstep to lower the frequency and V core because why? <laughs> this is uh, this is a performance PC, <laughs> so why, why why using it? Uh, exact settings because those are. A bit different than the last OSs I I used so far. Storage is AHCI, hard drive, hard disks. Sorry, same hard disk, so the boot should be the same. 
but we will check it again. Now it will power down because it needs to enable the four cores that were disabled on top of the hyper threading and all that stuff. Now I will use the performance setting for the cooler. I'm using the stock Intel cooler for this uh, CPU and it enables me to changing uh, CPU fan speed with the switch and with all four or six cores uh, the louder settings is, is required because other than if I didn't do this uh, 80 degrees 90 degrees uh, centigrade uh, temperatures are not friendly <laughs> let's call it that on this CPU okay so boot devices yes everything is in order I always use the floppy drive as the first because it's important kinda if you want to check memory on stuff with boot floppy so everything is okay let's boot into Windows XP Now in this you will see something interesting because I'm not using the 7800 GTX because with Windows XP I'm able to use the GTX 780 Ti. Yay Nvidia for the drivers. Good job guys. So GPU Z and CPU Z. Let's zoom in. GTX 780 Ti, non overclocked, not overclocked, basic stuff. And here's the settings 3 gigabytes. I'm not using the patch PAE patch. Uh, to use the 12 gigabytes I, I have in this machine I, I, I need to not do uh, everything because this will not work <laughs> and uh, this may not work and will not work I don't want to guess even I prefer stability in this case now as you can see this is a 2.0 to uh, x8 only wine pod 1 but if I do this, uh, oh, sorry. Oh man. Okay, what can I do to make this 2.0? Or oh, I would have to use the program. Okay. Well, this is a 2.0. It will go to 2.0. However, as you can see, this is X16 and X8 in this case because I'm using the last. PCIe and it is only AX8. However, I don't think it's that important in this case. Regardless, let's run Doom 3. Remember, this is this GTX 780 Ti, so it will be faster and will be a lot faster. So, again, ultra quality 1024 by 768, advanced settings. time demo same version 1.3 oh I, ma I make a mess oh, sorry about that forgot to zoom out now this was fast wasn't it <laughs> yeah twice as fast however it could go faster this card is capable of it, however, it's uh, not exactly the best um, 
in the best settings again because I did use it for compatibility not performance in this case yeah performance PC uh -huh. performance TC PC up to a point okay so this was done 3D Mark 3. Last time we have 114 on the Windows X, you know, Windows XP or Windows 2000. And let's, oh, right. The last uh, tests in the window in the 3D Mark 3 are enabled because this card uh, is XV Forte and XV Forte does support. Uh, EAX 5.0 just like most of the XV cards so uh, we don't need that but if I want to I can test sound card as well yay for the hardcore gamers out there EAX 5.0 good stuff yeah uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but my GPU with 2000 FPS or 1000 FPS around that uh, starts to call wine. Yeah, first, first word problems, right? 1000 FPS <laughs> is required. Now, using this setup, uh, I have the ultimate Windows XP machine officially you can use uh, x79 and GTX 980 Ti or Titan X even if you want however those are those are not officially supported just so you know now in case of the Windows 98 I am using non supported not supported hardware however it's required so what can I do about it so this is basically a combo of best 98 and best XP machine right now. So let's go to details and we have 784 FPS. Yay for the GTX 780 Ti. So that's this. Windows XP. I hope you can see it. With service pack free, of course. Okay, let's do the next one. So this was DOS. Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows XP. So two more to go. Now, you can try to guess what's the last operating system. You can, you have time until the oper Windows uh, boot screen shows up. Just so you know, I have to switch the um, inputs on my monitor to keep things alive, <laughs> so to say. Uh, overclocking load from Windows 7. So quick uh, check. Again, a bit lower frequency on the CPU, a lot lower on the DRAM because this is the 12 gigs so not not easy to use Sta stable not easy to use but stable uh, setting uh, yeah so everything is in order storage configuration the same HCI exact information right now sorry about I didn't show it this faster but I forgot 
uh, CPU configuration, model ordering, everything is enabled except for C state, speed step, and C1E. And devices again. Also, side note NVMe drive does not like uh, J Micron controller. I used everything I remembered and my experience told me however I couldn't make it work I don't know why is it uh, IRQ or something like that I simply cannot make it work because uh, PCI PNP looks like this <laughs> I can do yes no and that's that <laughs> so no IDE uh, hard drives on the Windows 7 and the last operating system however I can live with that since I have Windows XP that supports both ID and AFCI drive so yeah uh, other than that is the hard drive yes hard drive is good so again power cycle now did you figure out the last operating system or are, or are you still trying to figure out how do I how could I make NVMe drive work in the LGA 1366 platform okay Now this will load Clover, as you know from my last video, and uh, when I select the AFI, as you can see this is automatic, your time is up. So what's the last operating system? Now isn't this interesting? Windows Server 2016. Hmm. Well, we will do that later. Right now we do Windows 7. Now Windows 7, this is of course the X64 edition, 64 bits, Service Pack 1 is loaded, uh, all the bits and bobs are there. Now, the big problem with it is the graphics card. Now, I I'm forced to use the 7800 GTX that's why I don't have to switch the inputs on my monitor but that's not because I don't want to or I don't have to it's because I can't change the graphics card because Windows 7 is not dumb enough or not smart enough to make this setup work correctly now what it does is in the Win device manager you will see an icon of problem with my other graphics card as, as you could see in the Windows XP it will work fine in this setup however <coughs> sorry however in Windows 7 it will not work and that's because NVIDIA drivers from Windows 7 will simply force itself onto display adapters it sees. So a driver from GT 7800 GTX tries to make GTX 780 Ti work and that's not possible. If I do the other way around so 78 GTX 780 Ti is in the front and I'm using it without the 7800 GTX well it can't see anything because Windows 7 is dumb enough to simply use the first display adapter that uh, BIOS uses so but regardless of what I do with 7800 GTX I cannot make uh, Windows 7 use GTX 780 Ti as the graphics adapter, main graphics adapter. And that's dumb 
and I'm really, really disappointed. The, those guys in the Microsoft and Nvidia headquarters did not saw this coming, because Windows XP can do it, and Windows 7 can't. That's 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 mind blowing for me. But what can I do? <sighs> okay, so uh, if we have 7800 GTX. A bit, a, a bit slower settings again, however this is Windows 7, so yeah, uh, this is GPU-Z. This is CPU-Z. 4.1 GHz. This is around 1.32 volts settings again everything is the same of course hardware wise not settings wise 7800 and 70, 780 Ti now this is uh, 7 GTX uh, 7800 GTX so it does use the x16 slot however this is only 1.1 version since th this graphics card cannot support 2.0 it's too old for that now let's do the 3d mark 03 test and again disabling the other stuff now sound tests as you can clearly see are not available like in the XP uh, XP XP Windows uh, because Windows 7 does not support hardware acceleration on the sound card you can make it work with the uh, alchemy however I did not bother with it since I do have Windows XP native, so why? Why? <laughs> One for one hundred and fourteen is to beat on the Windows 2000, the second place is Windows 98 with 112 I guess this hmm, should be should be lower because uh, Windows 7 is a bit more demanding on the graphics side the Aero interface GUI GUI? GUI? GUI GUI <laughs> and and we get 118.7 sorry so it is faster a bit resource management i think or graphics drivers because i'm not using the same ones of course different operating systems no. <laughs> okay now I did messed up a bit because this is without the doom shortcut but let's search for the doom 3 oh this is set up so this is the this is the game now we will do exa the exact same thing so system ultra settings again 1024 hd sound off stereo yes yes and time demo
172 bit yeah this is this is slower 163 only yeah well what can you do 10 fps is lost because you I'm using Windows 7 but eh, I still have options okay so this was Windows 7 let's do the last one So, will Windows Server 2016 work on this machine? Clover setup, enter. Windows Server, enter. It loads. And it crashes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just like in the Windows XP, I'm simply using my GTX 780 Ti. Guys, come on. <laughs> Why would I bother with the 780, 7800 GTX on the Windows Server 2016? yeah this is this is really nice um i am window uh, i am direct x12 uh, capable just so you know um i didn't i won't use the doom free because why you guys saw that uh, in windows 7 it go it went a bit lower and with Windows 10 based Windows Server 2016 uh, it probably won't <laughs> go faster however you will may you may want to see it so again doom free settings quality ultra and same stuff This is loading from the Raptor X hard drive, just so you know, not the NVMe. Oh yes, I'm using GTX 780 Ti, so yeah, it's a bit slower still. In Windows XP it was 340 FPS if I remember correctly, or 330 something. So yeah, slower than Windows XP. Okay, now let's do 3D Mark of 3. It uh, loads longer because I'm using the latest uh, future system info, future mark system info for detection and stuff and uh, 3D Marco 3 isn't uh, exactly made for it let's call it like that so as you can hear I think the call line is back 1000 FPS and more
760 FPS was the result on the Windows XP, I think. 780? 760? 760 with something. Huh. So we get 694. Yeah. So slower, just like Doom 3. However, what Windows XP can't do is this. Now, as you can, as you know, Time Spy is DirectX 12. However, I will not use Time Spy. I will use Time Spy Extreme because why not? <laughs> this benchmark is, I think, five days old, six days old, something like that. Uh, this is 4K. DirectX 12, uh, SSE 3 Plus, AVX capable. Um, it's really, really new. <laughs> so this PC can run, as you can see, it's loading right now. So it can run DOS games. It can run Windows 98 operating system. It can, it can run Windows 2000 with games and programs. It can run Windows XP. It can run Windows 7. And it can run Windows Server 2016 with latest benchmarks. All in one? Yeah, this is cool. So if anyone asks the compatibility, compatibility, compatibility. Uh, what it means? It means this. Nine FPS. Nine FPS. If you are wondering, that's why it's laggy. Because as you could see, uh, this benchmark is 4 GB of VRAM required. However, I'm using a 3 GB uh, graphics card right now, GTX 780 Ti. Um, it runs okay. This is a 4 year, yeah, over 4 years old card right now. No, it's not. It's 2013. But it's October. Yeah, four years. About. Damn old. Hey, it still runs the latest software, so it's okay in my book. Now, for anyone that thinks I'm cheating because uh, I'm using NVMe, how the hell is that possible? I recommend checking my other video with the NVMe and Clover. I will test the hard drive so that you guys will see how fast it goes on this platform. Remember, this is a 3.0 device PCIe 3.0 SM 962 uh, 961 sorry 961 uh, Samsung NVMe 256 gigs it can dual boot as you can see I'm using Windows 7 and Windows Server 2016 on the same drive and I'm not cheating because the only hard drives 
that can run NVMe or UEFI that's required uh, are GPT drives and both IDE drives I'm using so the compact flash 1 gig and Raptor 74 gig are NBM, MBR because they need to be DOS and uh, Windows 98 does not support something like GPT and Windows XP and Windows 2000 also can't, su can't support GPT in normal circumstances uh, but they can be patched to support them however you will not be able to boot from those GPT drives so yeah NBR for it as well This is the CPU test that's new for this benchmark. <coughs> As you can see, even Hexcore 980X CPU is struggling a bit. <laughs> and this is 4.1 GHz overclock, so keep in mind. It's really beautiful. I must say that it's it's really nice. However, it lags on this CPU. <laughs> uh. So, if you are uh, not confident in my overclocking skills, because this is an overclock and this isn't exactly a standard hardware I'm using or configuration I'm using um, it's stable it does things I want it to do and we are almost complete in this CPU test Two minutes and twenty five seconds and thirty seconds. And done. So what's our score for the Times by Extreme? Fifteen hundred and thirty three, and it is valid score. I can compare the results online. Yes, hello, hard drive. This is uh, Windows Ten, or is read it as Windows Ten because. Windows Server 2016 is Windows 10 for every other program, so why not for the future Mark system info? And this is my 256 gig NVMe. I will add the link for this score in my video description so you guys can see it as well. Alright, so that's that. Let's close this. Quick check with the crystal mark so that you guys can see this is NVMe, not or at least a really, really, really fast <laughs> AHCI drive. Oh, come on, focus, don't be that. Sorry about that.
NVMe and it's in 2.0 x4 mode that's why it's only 1.6 gigabytes per second in uh, read speed and 1500 megabytes per second in write speed Uh, this score is probably um, bad because I did uh, initiate Crystal Disk Info when it was running, so keep it that in mind. It's probably lowered a bit. If I yes, I can run it again. That's good. <laughs> so again, sequential read yes this is more uh, this is more like it and the right speed still not exactly how it's uh, how it's rated however it's uh, over two times faster than a SATA drive so yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm using NVMe Okay, now this is over, so the last thing I want to show you guys, we will restart uh, this PC again, I will change my input on my monitor. Come on, yes, and I will load DOS profile again because I forgot to show you the devices I disabled for Windows 98 installation. I can silent it a bit. List. go I wasn't I think I wasn't fast enough yeah boot device oh it's bad we don't want generic storage we want compact flash oh not compact flash yeah. this is DOS so compact flash is right however I don't want compact flash I want the Raptor drive 74 gig so I need to spam that F8 <laughs> like a boss and make it 7400 74 gig yay Windows 98 is loading this is the screen you guys may see oh no did it lost focus again oh, God. yeah back to the system and my devices so let's zoom in so I unidentified device this is this those three and they are disabled because I don't need them those are uh, devices that are in 
uh, motherboard. However, Windows cannot use them because it doesn't have drivers. So PCI, car PCI cards, those are my cards like GTX 780, X5 Ausentech, Forte, X5 Forte and NVMe drive because those free cards cannot have Windows 98 drivers. Uh, PCI internet controller is also disabled. I tried to use uh, DOS driver, however, it did not work. So, yeah. And uh, USB storage is the, my pen drive. Yeah, disabled. Uh, this is uh, win USB mice. So I am using USB 1.1. That's why I can use it. Uh, with uh, 2.0 I would need drivers and drivers are not available for this motherboard for the Windows 98 of course now uh, those are my other devices keyboard this is uh, IDE for the mm, J Micron controller however I can use Windows 98 so it and it works stable so I think I don't need those I only need this one that's how I see it at least so this is my vortex our vortex 2 I think this is bad because I can use um, Disc, floppy disk controller USB as you can see is all well and good I think this is yeah this is my floppy it's working however this is uh, Windows 98 not doing what it should <laughs> ah Windows 98 I am using T240 monitor from Samsung and this is uh, its driver that's why it's uh, available in uh, device manager at least uh, name of my monitor well, mice of course and system devices this is uh, a, a CPI 2.0 probably not working because yeah 2.0 isn't supported with uh, Windows 98 it's not required because because uh, with the tables uh, all devices work if you disable those uh, you will not use because again resources IRQ and stuff is uh, <laughs> is quite important with this with this Windows and one uh, resource from the motherboard isn't working like it should. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Probably that ATK0110 thing Asus uses on its motherboards. Yeah. Let's run Quake as last game. Because why not? <laughs> when we are here already, so... Let's do so time demo yeah then one the demo demo one one no hmm I don't remember the oh. yeah Again, this. So I did run not this, this. Oh, crap. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
I will not edit this. <laughs> I'm so into this, so... Those are the settings again. Time demo 1. Sorry about that. Demo 1. Load. So fast. 970 FPS. Hooray! <laughs> Almost 1000. <laughs> yeah, this is my uh, free version. Quake free version 1.11. Ah, it works. Yes, exit game. Okay, this is it. I hope you enjoyed my video of uh, this uh, project of mine. Let's call it that. So, this is Agent X007 signing off. I hope I will see you in another video. Goodbye.